All right, we're going to go on to section 8.3, and we're going to be talking about supplementary and complementary angles again. And we're going to be doing some interesting algebra to do some solving of the other side of the the other side of the angle. So um, recall quickly that we have our complementary and supplementary angles. Now you often see angles abbreviated with just a little angle sign and you know how lazy I am so I'm going to use that instead of writing the whole word out. Recall that complementary angles where is where the sum is equal to 90 degrees and sum is when you add them together and our supplementary angles are when we have our sum and it equals 180 degrees. Quick example of our complementary say I make my right angle like this and say I have like this and I have a 20 degrees here and I have a 70 degrees here. I can see that this obviously totals up to 90. But what can start to happen is that they're going to ask me questions like this. They're going to give me angles. Oops, that's supposed to be degrees. And they're going to say, these two angles are complementary. What's the measure of x? Well, what, we can figure this out pretty easily because I know that the sum of these two is 90. So if I wanted to, I can write this out as 35 plus x equals 90. And this is an easy one-step addition um, algebra problem that I can solve pretty easily. So to get what this other missing angle is, I could ask, well, 35 plus what is 90? Or I can simply write it out like this and then subtract. I can see that to solve this, I'm going to need to subtract 35 from both sides because I have, when I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And I have x equals 90 minus 35 is 55. And I can see that my missing angle here is... 55 degrees. And I found this out by using this complementary angle theorem, which is what is the key to this whole thing. Let's do one more example looking at our complementary angles. Say, for example, that I have a angle that um, instead, maybe they don't even give me what the picture looks like. They say that angle, let me get the wording right, angle A and B are complementary. A equals 12 degrees. B equals X. Find the measure of B. Now, I could draw this out if I wanted to, but it's not going to help me at all. All the information that I need to do this is already given to me. So I don't have to measure it out and get a protractor and then figure it out. I can just say that, okay, A plus B equals 90 degrees because I know them to be complementary. And in fact, I even know that A is 12 and B is X. And now I have 12 plus x. Well, that's very easy for me to solve. I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. I have x. 12 minus 12, of course, is 0. x and 90 minus 12 is 78. So I can see that x is 78 degrees, simply by using my theorem. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with my supplementary angles. It should be very similar, so I will probably do this a little bit faster. My supplementary angles, remember, look like this. I may have, let's see, a 70 degrees, and I may have a 110 degrees, because 70, oops, and 110 are 180 degrees. Now, they might give me a similar problem. They might say, okay, Here's your angle, and this side here is 150 degrees. This is x. x equals what? Okay, well, I know that my two angles, 150 plus x equals 180, so I can use my algebra to solve, just like I did before. Minus 150 minus 150. I have x equals 180 minus 150 is 30. 
And I can see that I have 30 degrees as my answer. X equals 30. That's how I solved using my supplementary. And just like we did before, what if they don't give us a picture at all? They just say that angles A and B are supplementary, not complementary. A equals 42 degrees. B equals X. What is B. Okay, well, we can solve this using algebra really quickly like we did before. I can say that A plus B, since they're supplementary, supplementary means the sum is 180. So I can say that if I add them together, I get 180. Well, I'm going to substitute what I have in. A is 42 plus X equals 180. Okay, I'm going to subtract 42 from both sides. I have x equals, and 180 minus 42 is 138, so that is my answer. My angle, my other angle is 138 degrees. Not too bad. Um, should be pretty simple. It's a little interesting just taking it away from the angles and thinking about it in the mathematical sense instead. Um, good luck. Keep up the speed.